Yo, so we had a shooting in Buffalo. Okay. Shooting in Buffalo. And uh, still, no one is talking about what's important. Maybe you waiting on me to talk about it. All right, here we go. Okay, let's do it. So, first things first, huge, huge, huge load of condolences, positive energy sent towards the family of all of those who were murdered in this senseless act of foolishness. I'm not going to come with all the hype today. Uh, We're going to talk some legitimate facts. Well, we know, we do know that this individual, we'll let y'all keep him nameless. This individual, he did have a manifesto. He, he, he was on a mission. Uh, I do have my thoughts on an 18 year old being that articulate for 180 pages. I'll leave that alone. This individual got out of his car, shot 13 people, the grocery store, how he did it. Of course, you know, you can look at it with conspiracy if you want. Nonetheless, 10 people are dead that didn't want to be dead. That, that's always a horrible, horrible situation. Here's my issue with this. Another, just like everything else, situation no one's discussing the facts one key point of the manifesto which i encourage you all to read look it up download it apparently it's on google docs find someone with a link to kick it out to you he made it clear that he chose this area in buffalo because their population is mostly black. More importantly, he chose this area because he knew that they would be unarmed. And if they were, they would have limited capacity magazines and they would be limited on training. He also stated in his manifesto that he had no intent to get into a shootout with police. So when the police showed up, he would stop. Notwithstanding his level of training, knowing that you don't go into a gunfight and expect, not expect to get shot. So he was, in fact, armored up. He then proceeded with his mission. Wherever that mission came from, whatever you want to believe, he was successful. The response that frustrates me is, oh, my God, look how horrible this is. Look at this atrocious act. These things should not be. We we need to do something. And I think my issue is the list of things that's being brought up that we need to do, none of that that I've heard. I'm sure someone, I I am sure I am not the only person who thinks this way. I have not heard anyone with a significantly large platform speak on the importance of training. This is not a sales pitch. I'm hearing a lot of everybody needs to go buy a gun. Everybody needs to be armed. But I'm not hearing the push for the level of training that was needed for this individual to be unsuccessful in the city of Buffalo, state of New York, grocery store tops. I'm not saying that. 
It's disappointing. Now is, yes, of course, the time to acquire a firearm legally. If you can legally acquire a firearm, it is the time to acquire ammo. More importantly, this is the time for you to invest as much money and resources as you can into yourself for training. This is not... This is not a situation where your basic firearms course will save your life. This is not a situation where your license to carry CPL, CHL, whatever your state calls it, so you can carry your firearm course level of training. This is not, I would even say, an immediate level training course. Because you can't walk around with a concealed rifle, or most people don't, I'll say that, not can't, but because most people don't walk around at grocery stores with rifles, which would be a fair comparison to what was presented to this contingency by said evil person. Not to mention most of these were elderly from the information that's given. It means that you would have to have a high level of training in the areas of situational awareness, for one. And you would have to be ridiculously skilled with a pistol. Because at this point, the individuals were limited to a level of performance that would require one to be able to perform a headshot at roughly 25 yards under stress. That is a lot of training, ladies and gentlemen. I have to give you a moment of transparency and admit that my lack of enthusiasm for this video in this topic is simply because I do my best, my due diligence to offer that level of training. It is understood if you read closely in the manifesto, his undertone, he knows that the people who need this level of training won't do it, will make excuses or be loosely affiliated with the art of the gun just enough to say that they had some training. Nonetheless, I need you all to understand, and I'm going to close this out. I'm not going to be out. I need you to understand that I have had a self-check. Maybe I need to come on here more. I genuinely feel that you should spend more time on the range training than listening to a podcast. Nonetheless, I do take accountability in not coming to said podcast and reminding you to get your ass off this podcast and go train. With that being said, I am not naive to the idea that there aren't many instructors that you would say trust or have vetted to give you said level of training, which is why I make it known that if we're coming to your city, let's make it happen. And I do my best to link up with instructors in those cities so that you can continue said education. We're not going to get rid of the guns. It's not going to happen. Bad people are always going to have guns before the good people because bad people don't want to wait the time that it takes to go through said legal protocol to get a firearm. We're not going to get rid of guns. So it I don't care about what you vote and how you feel and your little marches and get rid of the guns, no AR-15, man, man, man. Doesn't matter. It's not going to matter. Bad guys are going to get the guns. Bad guys are going to often going to have, more so than not, 
better guns than you. Okay. What I mean by that is they're going to bring a rifle to a gunfight that you know nothing about against your not having a weapon at all, your knife or your pistol. He stated, again, please read the manifesto. Don't live, don't believe what I'm saying now so far as the manifesto. Go read it for yourself. He did state that he wanted the upper hand. He had no intention of getting shot. He had no intention of being harmed. He had every intention to be taken alive without a scratch, even from the police. So here we are again, being caught with our pants down because we think people are crazy, people who think like me, who believe that we should go to the furthest extent of training as often as possible and keep that thing on us. Paranoid, that's what you call us. Crazy, that's what you call us. Now we're all angry because 13 innocent people were assaulted, murdered, shot. 10 of them dead. There's only so much we can do. I personally am not one to just lay down and be shot in a grocery store. It is a shame that we live in the world, 50, 60, 70 year old people shopping in a grocery store should have firearm and adequate training for the day that an idiot, an evil sentinel for the un from the underworld <laughs> comes into the front door of the grocery store, armored up, ready to hunt. It's horrible. Horrible situation. However, it's not like we can get on the spaceship and leave. I personally am not going to be one of those individuals who just lay down and die. I encourage you all to Pull your heads out of the sand. Do what needs to be done. People like this individual who shot innocent people in this grocery store, they would not do that. They would not. He stated himself he's going to that area because he knows he can be successful. Let's decrease the amount of areas that will be deemed as soft targets for these individuals. It is what it is. It's not a sales pitch. I've been here for a while. I'm just not on here all the time. You know where the links to my websites are. You know we got courses near you on the website. Urban chaos is a thing. And this, this, is, this is what makes me angry. Literally a couple hours or so before this happened on Saturday, I was teaching these same concepts in North Carolina. Franklin, go to my Instagram page and look at the drills. Those drills were what was needed in that situation. Insane. It makes me angry. I am sensitive to a, a lot of things spiritually. I understand who I am and my purpose. However, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Because we haven't gotten to a point to where preparation for a moment that may never come to be important. There's a phrase, stay ready. So you don't have to get ready. We need to become more React, no, sorry, pre-active, proactive. There we go. We need to become more proactive instead of reactive. I genuinely, 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 please hear my heart that you all not only acquire legal firearms, but acquire and continue adequate training. This is old, body by old, body by old tactics. A co academy. 
A quote from the community secure. Body by O tactical.com. Body by O318, Instagram and Twitter. Body by O Tactical, Facebook. I love y'all. My question and challenge for you when will you make it difficult or impossible for the bad guy? I love y'all.